can't get nobody. The fabric section is always so weak and they never so hire I'm, for it. I'm spending Liz, um, Liz's Walmart gift card. Look, yes. Look, yes. These are some, some 80s looking socks, man. I like it because when you wash them, you're going to know which one is missing. That's it's true. not just all black, well, right? Well, the ones I have, they have like gray bottoms and blue bottoms, so kind of the uh -huh. same thing, kind of. And I'm buying this fabric to try to duplicate that shirt that I told you guys the other day. Let's make sure Look this is this. Make sure this isn't Look open. at this with the eyelets. Is that what these are called? Eyelets? Mm -hmm. Whatever. You know some of these uh, sewing terms, I just kind of randomly pull it out of my brain from grandma days? When grandma used to sew. <laughs> As usual, we can't find nobody to come serve the fabric. As usual. And they should be here from 10 to 4. A little stand of them? I don't they're check like, on that. They're like 10 or 7 dollars for some eh, looking oh, We need to save some of that crap from Louise then. <laughs> to decorate with. But in this case, it's completely justified. Uh-huh. No, they're no. pretending. Technically, no. They're trying. <laughs> it's fall! No, guys, it's still summer. I'm at Walmart waiting for them to cut the fabric. Ain't nobody want to cut the fabric, <laughs> as usual. All right, guys. I came to Walmart, but I overdid it because we had to wait so long for them to come and serve the fabric. So, they, uh, is he, did he say assistant manager? Uh, Support. Gym. Support. He was the support manager for all general merchandise. A really, really nice guy. And so he said that they're hiring in all departments and that we should put in for it, any of us that want a job, and put his name down. I'm like, that is a blessing. Mm -hmm. So I got to go see if Jada wants to switch from Food for Less to Walmart. And I'm asking Joshua if he wants to come to Walmart. He says he wants to work in electronics. So the guy's like well I, I they're my associates too but i don't control that area in the hiring i'm like joshua come work in fabrics <sighs> if i had full health i would go work in fabrics over there i mean i'll do it to get in for sure but, uh, you could do it all you gotta do is nothing you see every time we go there there's no one there josh all you gotta do is learn to work that scanner and that label gun mm, that's it. and then they, they you, i guess you have to take inventory of what you have the fabrics yeah and then you roll them back neatly and set them neatly and they never do it but I know him, Joshua would do it because Joshua's like really OCD. I am. Bugs, yeah, he'd do it. And the buttons and the zips and oh my God, I could see Joshua doing that department really good. The only thing is about that department right there where it's situated, mm -hmm. uh, everybody who comes in the store comes down that aisle yep. and they ask you where the other departments yep. are. Can you tell me where's the shovels? A lot of foot, where are the umbrellas? Heavy foot traffic area. And, and you would know it too because you got that kind of sick memory like mommy. I don't know where umbrellas are, but I can tell you where the chunk of stuff are. We don't go to that one. They'll tell you. They would tell you. Well, you, you get you to work, know the I'm store. I'm sure when you work there, you eventually just know it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 screw it. Let's go do fabrics. Yeah, put in fabrics as your second. You okay. know what I mean? He says pick a first and a second. But you don't get nobody telling you that out of the clear blue sky. Put my name down, dude. I'm a manager. Yeah, we're we're blue, interviewing right now. Put, put, put my it's name just, down, yeah, dude. Yeah, we're interviewing. That's it. Yeah. Out of the blue, he told us, right? We yeah. didn't ask. What your name? Francisco. Oh, don't run the bed. Edit it. I said it. Edit it. Cut out that fact. Just cut out that. Cut out that name because ain't nobody going to use my blessing to come apart for me. I'm tired of that. Oh my God. I went to go check on a friend of mine that's doing YouTube. Bounty Hunter D. Remember when he started and had nobody? He was like, please talk about my channel. And then I turned around and he had 300,000 subscribers, right? Like. It felt like it took a week. It might have taken two months, right, Josh? Probably, probably. probably. OMG, he has 1.1 million subscribers. What is that on the floor? Oh my God, he's a really chill dude. Ah. He's a friend of mine. What is that but, mattress? Mm -hmm. let, let's rephrase it, because some people are friendly with you, but they're not friends. They're more associates, right, Josh? That's an associate. Yeah, he's an associate. We never hang I, out. I, I, we don't hang so out, anything, you know? and I don't call him or text him we used to do a business together and um but he's really really chill dude but i don't know what he could do to help me no. you know even if he gave me a shout out I think that's a completely different audience yeah though. he's has a different niche he's doing bounty hunting and he's truly a bounty hunter he truly is he's not faking it no, he's licensed. and so i don't know how much of it is um scripted from not scripted i would imagine not too much of it is scripted right josh uh, with him, no TV. I assume it's all scripted. With yeah, him, with I him, guess. I don't think it's scripted. But he had this dude that w that he was doing bounty hunting with, I guess. And the dude is called Patty Mayo. No, I'm not telling you these Patty names. Yeah, I'm not giving you these names so they could get more damn viewers. Okay, you guys stay with me. I'm just saying, Patty Mayo had like 600,000 when my friend started Bounty Hunter D. 
I don't know how the deal must have started last year, October. It's not even a it year yet. It hasn't been long at all. 1.1 million dollars i mean million dollars i keep saying keep dollars saying that, yeah. it's subscribers that's because he's probably making a million dollars nope. a year no well no that's pewdiepie a year pewdiepie, PewDiePie joshua PewDiePie. go put him in a social blade wow. social blade has it at blah 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 to 1.5 million in a year so it's not going to be the 1.5 but it's going to be somewhere in between let me tell you how accurate social blade is i'm talking about my cooking channel only Social Blade says I'm making $24 to $386. I have a C plus rating, which is really good because some people who have a million subscribers only have a B minus. So I feel like I'm doing good. And I'm not making the $24. I'm not making the $386, but I'm making right about $250. Sometimes it's $230. Sometimes it's $270. So average it at $250. So just go. That's all I'm making at my cooking channel, y'all. The next little channel, add a little bit of chunk to make it $400. It's not worth it. All the effort that I put in, if the, if what I'm doing right now, which they say is the rehearsed things that you need to do, to the tags, the titles, the what the thing there again, Josh? Thumbnails. The tags, the titles, and the thumbnails has to be like this. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing everything that I've learned from one of these other YouTubers, and um, I'm applying it. And if it doesn't work, baby, bye. I can't deal with this no more. Too much effort for too little money. Mm. Then you see people come up that don't have hardly any content. But they find something that makes people come back. And sometimes people watch these other YouTubers that are doing crazy stuff just to see them when they fall. That's why you'll see videos saying, oh my God, let's expose so-and-so, right? And they want to expose them so they could fall with whatever they might be doing that's kind of shady. Maybe they're pretending like their show is not scripted when it is scripted. My show is not scripted because I don't have a teleprompter. So if I were to script my show, I would have to go learn lines. Who wants to do that? I already have enough things to do than to go learn lines, you know, so even Joe's stuff, Joe is so good at that stuff, he tapes it one, and if Joe had to record his stuff twice, he wouldn't do it, he's like, can I just talk the way I talk, if I do wrong grammar, if I say the wrong word, if I quote the wrong scripture, can you just fix, fix it in post, you know, I'm like, yeah, whatever, if you say the wrong scripture, I'll go find it, and I'll type it on the bottom in the graphic, but this is stuff that Joe rambles on day and night towards the kids, teaching these kids you know they say train a kid up and you know they'll not depart from whatever yeah that's what joe does all day when they these kids used to ride with him in the car to go to school oh my god they would say oh my god where's he in this speech again okay we're almost at school it's almost over it's almost over but it stayed with them though because for you to even like learn something you got to hear it like a bajillion times that's why that fool keeps saying no collusion no collusion no collusion and then when that doesn't work he goes collusion is not even a crime it's because he wants you to remember that and stupid people will remember that they'll say oh my god why are they going for him they're such a good guy no he's not and let's talk a little bit about omar rosa all right her name just in case you don't know how to spell it it's omar like a dude and then osa i couldn't spell it for the longest i thought it was omo omar rosa anyways omar rosa went to work with Trump because it feeded her needs. She needed the money. They hired her. She sold herself to the devil to just get that 179 a year. That's what she was making at the White House. She act like, oh, I wanted to have an input for black people. Yeah, yeah, no, uh-uh. Omarosa came to fame. I mean, uh, let's not get it twisted. She had a rough childhood growing up. She had a lot of losses, yada, yada. That will jade you sometimes. Then she got on reality TV and she made a name for herself because if you're gonna be on reality TV, you can't be a little mouse. You gotta get out there and be aggressive or get out there and be like sickly sweet. But you gotta be on either end of the spectrum. The mediocre people don't get noticed. Even in a singing contest, you gotta be like really bad or really good. Yep. You can't be mediocre. You can't be middling. Yeah, so, and middling. Joshua says you can't be middling. Yeah, so Omarosa got out there on The Apprentice. She made a name for herself. I mean, look, we know her by just her name. Jordan didn't know who was Mother Gault Newman. He goes, who the hell's that? I said Omarosa, because they were just using her hyphenated last names. And so anyways, after she was done, she stayed tight with Trump. I could see that Trump could be very, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Josh? Yeah, you, yeah. Endearing? What's the word I'm looking for? It's not charismatic. Not it's not charismatic. It's a word that Dr. Dr. Mike used, Joe. He's very, like when you meet him and he could be very pleasant. I could see Trump being very pleasant when he likes you and he wants to know you because that's how narcissists are. They can be very, very nice and they can appear to be decent people and then if they like you, they like you. So he liked Omarosa because Omarosa is just like him. 
So then she went to work there. Something happened to where maybe she took some liberties. I don't know what it is. I feel like John Kelly, when he got in as the chief of staff, I feel like he's racist even more so than Trump because of what he did to Frederica Wilson, that congresswoman, when she spoke up and said that he's lying about what he said about the guy that died in Niger, the, the soldier. Um, and he came and told a lot of lies against Frederica Wilson and it was proven on tape. They had the receipts that it was lies and he still did not come and go my bad um, miss congresswoman i shouldn't have said this that was my bad he didn't do that and i don't feel like he should be apologizing for everything but when you're caught in a lie you better make good and so that just tainted my whole view about john kelly so john kelly gets in the white house does not like omarosa why because she black so he didn't like her so he found a reason to fire her behind trump's back and he said oh she had bad conduct in the white house what else is she doing that nobody else is not doing you know, the, the other people are doing worse than her, probably. Using the White House to come up their little games, right? No, Amarosa is not stupid because she was trained by one of these rag magazines because she was suing the magazine. Trump convinced her not to sue because the owner was his friend. I want to say it's the Inquirer, but I'm not 100% sure. And so she got a job with the magazine before, in between Apprentice and all that stuff. And so she learned from the inside out how to do this thing that she's doing right here. And so anyways... John Kelly fired her because she black and she went home licking her wounds and Trump heard and Trump like oh my god not Omarosa they can't be firing her because she be knowing some stuff so he calls her up and he goes Omarosa what happened dude well, why are you not here they said you leaving and then she's like no they fired me what the hell you didn't know they said you knew because Kelly was like he don't run this you know I run this B I run it and so um He's like, no, 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 we're going to have to fix this. So then he sends his little daughter-in-law, the one that I didn't even know she could talk. She ran over there and she's like, Amorosa, look, 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 dude. We put you on with the campaign. We're going to take these campaign people money because the money comes from regular people like you and me. I don't donate to them. Forget them. And we're going to pay you $15,000 a month. Acting like she don't know what that comes to, what it comes to in for the year. Because they know because that's what they pay off other people, $15,000 a month. So it's probably 15 because maybe it doesn't like send up some kind of red flag with the taxes, right, Josh? Probably. Yeah, and that's what John Kelly makes. He makes $15,000 a month, so he didn't want no black Amarosa to be making that. So then Trump sent the daughter-in-law to try to hire her for the com campaign at $15,000 a month. Amarosa felt a type of way because Amarosa felt like maybe Trump could have came at her and did it himself. Or she was worth more than 15, which she knows she's going to make that with her book. I just pray they don't kill her. I don't really care for the woman, but she's doing what I need for her to do right now. So I'm going to protect her. I'm going to stand behind her, be on her team, and protect her because she is bringing Trump down. And this is what I need for her to do. Bring down Trump, Kelly, Pence, Ryan, all of them. What's her name? Suckabee? Bring out something on Suckabee, please. Bring a tape on Suckabee Amarosa. I beg you, all right? Let's go inside. These don't hurt us. And I think that speaks to how important these tapes are to Trump or these See, they're talking about it right now on the news on MSNBC. On top of that, Omarosa went in there and started taping from day one. Now, why was Omarosa taping? She probably knew she would have to show the receipts and protect herself. So that's why she was taping. Where do you guys think she hid the microphone? You think she hid it in her weave, on her wig? You know, come on, tell me where you think she hid it. Unbilled initiation fee balance. You you got promoted? The dues and initiation fee will be divided into will be divided into weekly payments and deducted from your payroll check. What is it? Throw it that way. It was all broccoli. I didn't know anybody wanted that. Was that what? Broccoli. It was like five or six pieces of broccoli. I threw it in the trash last night. Okay, Jada, it seems like whatever this they're billing you for with the union, mm -hmm. that they're going to divide it and take it out your paycheck regardless. But I would still check in to make sure they don't take one big paycheck from you. You know what I mean? Yeah. It says the difference in initiation fee has been divided into equal payments. Yes. Total charges. So these are the dues, these are the initiation fee, and these are the total charges. But it says on bill. Initiation fee balance. What do you mean on bill? Well, they will bill you, right? They don't have no money to call and check? 
Food for Less has a union and it's making, it's causing pain for her. Oh, they have a number. Call that number right there and check it, baby. Come, that's your money, baby. You work hard for that. Don't let them take your money like that. And do you have to belong to the union when you work there? But even if you're just part-time, so, but something stinks in here. I think the trash stinks. <sighs> they talking about Omarosa again? Omarosa, I'll release more tapes if I need to. Girl, that's come on. Fun. Huh? Her. With who? Wednesday. This the smell is probably getting to her. Yeah, let's go outside. Come on. Get Cora too. Joel fixed the tub again. And that thing smells bad, man. Chocolate, Cora out. They'll find some tea to go hide under. Remember I told you to keep an eye on them? I was keeping an eye on them. <sighs> so Joel's kind of. I, I don't know when it even got to be 4 o'clock. When, when did it get to be 4 o'clock? Hmm? Well, I've already uploaded one video to the cooking channel, Mukbang, two videos to this channel. I have a third one uploaded, but not released till later. And what I'm gonna go do now is rest for like an hour, just rest my eye, rest my body, rest my mind, and then I'm gonna um, edit my cookbook. I gotta make time in the day, just like if I work for the man, to find time to do each and every one of these things, you know? I'll be back. I just had to show this. Joshua said this is a challenge. <laughs> the milk of magnesia challenge. So he said he needed to take some and he wanted to know what it tasted like. And I told him yeah. it's a cross between fish oil and chalk. Or maybe a blend between fish oil and chalk. So I told him get some water to chase it down. And we're not going to listen to Joe because Joe's like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That will drink anything. So he's, he's built some immunity. Mm -hmm. So get like not the lowest dose not the highest dose I do something 40. in between I'm 40. okay something in between 40 mils and be prepared it's gonna work in 20 minutes sometimes that's how oh, gee. Look at that. did you shake that up no was this one? shake it up that looks watery yeah that's what I was like. It put it back worse. put it back in and shake it up something watery right there right there something watery and translucent looks 10 times worse than something <laughs> solid coming no it's supposed to be thick that, that makes it worse yeah of course it makes it worse I told you it was gross Shake it up good, Josh. Okay. Mm, I'm glad I don't have to take that right now. Ever since I took out my gallbladder, I've been digesting. <laughs> but I have to start eating like raw vegetables now, though. Make sure the lid is on and shake it up and down, too, because it, it sticks to the walls of the bottle. Okay. You ready? <laughs> oh, I got something put on my finger. I don't actually taste or something on Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> Uh, this thing is awful. Remember that movie, Bringing Down the House? Yeah, is that the one with Clint Eastwood got out of jail? Remember when she gave it to um, Steve Martin's character in the food? She could when the lady was saying, "Is Martha gonna kill us tomorrow?" Uh, and she put it in the food because he. Oh, uh, like, that just makes it worse. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> All right, don't worry, you take it too much. Oh my Jesus! I put a little, put, bit. Oh put my a little bit of it. God. It doesn't cramp your belly or nothing, oh. but. You gotta make sure you go spend a lot of time on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, the minute he took it, you hear glug, glug, glug. I'm like, that's a lie. This stuff don't work that quick. And then I tried it and I heard it within 10 minutes. I said, oh Lord, it's not, it's not a lie. Let's go, Joshua. Let's go. Okay. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> don't thumb. wait. Don't vomit in my food. See, I have my food here. Don't vomit in my food. There's, Back up. There's your thumbnail right there. <laughs> Stop that right there. Get that thumbnail. Don't, don't get it in your beard. It, it's oh god, come on, man! <laughs> I can't laugh yet. I still it's, hurt on the it's top. It's like when you want to jump in a cold pool. Yeah. Uh, I can't. <laughs> do it, do it, do you're it. You're like, stop peer pressuring me or instigating whatever. You're not my peer right now. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. When I used to have to take that thing, Joshua, I would I would shiver all day because I know I had to take it that night. <laughs> I would shiver all day. It's, it's hideous. You think it would taste better if it had cherry flavor? Because they have a cherry flavor one that I've never bought. <laughs> Anything else to run. <laughs> What's the worst part? Mm. The chalkiness or the oil? <laughs> The fish oil. Oh my god, both? Uh, 
It's the does it taste like that though? Did I give a good description? It doesn't taste. It's on your lip. Don't lick it because it's going to be there forever. The taste itself isn't. It's uh, not bitter. It, it doesn't taste awful. Uh -huh. It's the texture. The texture. It tastes like fish oil. You know, like fish that's been sitting there in greasy oil for when you suck the oil with chalk. Oh, ugh. <laughs> ugh. At least you have a lime to suck. I used to have to chase that down with water. It's so... It's not even like it tastes bad. Mm -hmm. It's just the texture and all. I don't even taste anything. It's just the texture. And if I had to drink any more, I would gag. Hey, Jojo. Uh -huh. If I had to drink any more of it, I would probably end up gagging. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not fun. You gotta <laughs> mix that into a drink or something. Man. You can't just drink that straight up. <laughs> put some salt in that sucker, huh? <laughs> I put salt on this. It's doing one of <laughs> that was funny, John. <laughs> oh my goodness. Finish my vlog for me today because I, I want to do a different vlog tomorrow. Alright, buddy, that was the Milk and Magnesia Challenge. Um, mm. Next time we're going to do three people. We only have two bathrooms. <laughs> So we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> I'm hurting on the top still, Josh. Uh, that decision on the top still hurts. The milk of magnesia prank challenge. Ah, Ooh, and we do it when Shanika's coming with the boys. <laughs> that that one well, set of fire that three more to it. Yeah. And we have yeah. yeah. It would be crazy. Alright everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get notifications. So cause so Google to recommend stuff because Google is keep trying to bury us. I don't know why they hit the small people. Mm -hmm. But that is it. Bye everybody. Yeah daddy in a kimono.